Life is slowly going back to normal in areas neighboring the Westgate Mall after the terrorist attack. Police have today opened routes heading past the mall, Peponi and Ring Road, where only motorists are allowed to use. Members of the public have also continued getting their cars that were held up during the incident. Mumtaz Jamal, who had left her car in the basement, has found the vehicle in good shape. Jamal described the moment at the mall as traumatizing after witnessing the attack. I must remember people running, uh, children and everybody else. I remember people shutting their, their shop doors, um, shouting, screaming, and lots of gunshots, one after another. It was a continuous thing. I heard like a grenade of bombs, just a lot of noise. And, um, that's it. I just, and I saw dead bodies, yes. Before, before I got into a place to hide, I saw dead bodies, yeah. She says police stayed for more than an hour before responding to the attack. Around 11.30, I heard the shooting outside. By the time I found myself hiding somewhere, it was 1.30. So there was a lot of chaos uh, up and about with people trying to find places to, to hide. So you said and the, more than an hour, there was yes, no police? There, there was no police. There was nothing. It was just people, people running up and down. And once everybody was secured, hiding places, it went quiet. And I'm sure by that time the terrorists had taken over the, the ground floor because I heard a lot of gunshots. In fact, my ears, um, I have difficulty with my hearing as well. And uh, yeah. She was lucky to escape unhurt. The things that I saw being there every day of my life at Westgate, every day, the customers, the people, people I know who come every day, it's, it's, um, I don't think it's safe and I don't think I would want to be there because I lost a loved one. It's quite haunting and uh, all those lives that went innocently inside there, um, I don't think it's, uh, I would manage to do it. No. I'm Angela Moirere reporting for Capital TV.